Prague, March 2016. In case you need a casual knife to be made right in front of you, or a ring, or let's yeah, say anything from metal, then uh, in Prague you get a lot, a lot of blacksmiths just around the streets. Hashtag medieval old school. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Only in Prague. This is an inflatable phallus. <laughs> but basically there was a pump which flow air into the into it, but it literally stopped as I took this little clip. But it was just hilarious. Needless to say, a lot of people come here for a good night out. And what I also just really love about Prague, it's got a really unique feel, architecture, whatever you want to call it. But basically it's just kind of medieval in feel and spirit, which I love. Are you ready? One, two, three. So you're sticking a running head start into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> this is so exhilarating, this is so weird. Oh, you lost some money there. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I said don't move. <laughs> Traditional. Trenik. You find this, this dough kind of toasty, charred and charcoal everywhere in Prague, and it was really delicious, especially like cinnamon, a bit of sugar. And I had some with some apple sauce, and it was really worth it. It's queen. I'm really bad, trust me. Music. Man, you're in, you're in. You should know this. <laughs> well, I might use that song then. This is. Uh, oh, yeah, better. That's beautiful. Quite nice, isn't it? Oh, oh. <laughs> one more time. One more. One more. <laughs> Big romantic romantic. These guys are very good, man. These guys. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stand up, stand up. Friendly, friendly, photo friendly. You want one? What? Yes, sir. At your service, sir. At once. Sir. Thank you. Sir. He doesn't flinch, look at him. But he did look. I wonder if anybody else has thought to redo the Abbey Road crossing, but it was great. Wait, what's this? A man hanging from... What? Czech Republic have a really great national and like domestic football kind of rep. So uh, it was a shame I couldn't get a ticket when I went there because there was actually a Champions League game to be fair. So what do we have here? A peeping hole. Let's have a look. So this is part of the castle. So like in anqu antiquity or medieval times, this is where like the castle will be defended with archers stationed at each. So this is like mid-March, which is meant to be off-season, approaching high season. Which I just wanted to make like a point, like, if this is not high season and it's so packed getting into the cathedral here in the castle, then I don't know what it is. So I guess, I suppose if you're coming in the summer when it's busier, 
then uh, just come in the morning because this was about this was this was like well into the afternoon, like mid, like probably three four or so. So, so you just know. Also, it was free to get into here, so maybe that was why. I guess. That's that's actually. It's actually, it's almost like you walk around because you should, but this is actually there's a reason to walk around, and this is actually really amazing. Yeah. And, it's, it's, and there's a mosaic as well. Like, the guys I was going with weren't sure if they wanted to come up here, but like it was so worth it coming here for literally the sunset because everything just looks so much more magical. Sometimes you don't have to go like to like Southeast Asia to get a beautiful sky kind of thing. It's just a pleasure to look over Prague. I never imagined it'd be so beautiful. From around 1900 AD to 1300 AD, Czech Przemysl dynasty rulers had most of Bohemia under their control, which is quite a lot of land beyond the current Czech Republic, and it just kind of really reflects like the grandeur I'm seeing, which I really didn't expect. Because like strategically, Prague is right in the center of Europe between like Germany, Poland, the link between East and Western Europe. So clearly, a lot of wealth would have come from Prague, which would have allowed for such an amazing city to awaken. But now, Prague is more known for like kind of being the Amsterdam of Eastern Europe. So if you want to get something green, it's a bit awkward, but there's a real great area that allows you to to take it. I met some great guys from California which were really stressing about getting during the week, which I have to admit, during the week was quite tough because bars and clubs are quite quiet. But at the weekend I went to Cross Club, which is a bar slash club, and locals actually came up to us in the bar area where we were sitting down by tables and offered to to smoke with us which was really cool so if you'd want to get anything during the week you'd have to go to like a special like pub and just chill get some drinks and then like try to get some on the side as part of the drinks but not solely as you'll get kicked out what's that upside down that's so crazy People love their beers here. If you love beer, then Prague is the one. Like the price of beer to water is almost the same. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I like. I like no. This is no. This is no smoking sign here. And this Czech smoking team. The best team of the world, Prague. Deep stuff, like deep, deep, but it's really good. So welcome to the pub. This is like the only place where you can have beer on tap, self-service, and it's really cool because inside, like every table competes against each other to drink the most, which is like, really awesome and something that doesn't exist. I'm gonna be yeah, looking. Well, I'm gonna look at that again. years from now. So. No, I didn't bring this one. Yeah. Okay. Hey. up? Hey, all of you. Hey, hey. Bro. 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 And in case you didn't come for the culture, which is possible, then you should know that Prague is really big on classical music. 
Prague, for instance, is home to like three major opera houses as well as two small auditoriums for opera and dance, uh, as well as like 20 other different sized venues. For instance, there's so many composers which contributed to uh, Western music here, which I'll leave a description in the comments below. But also just to know like Wolfgang Mozart, which comes from Salzburg, not, not far in Austria, spent much a good deal of his career in Prague, for instance, just to get a feel for it. So come Prague, please like, subscribe and share if you like this. It would really help me out. Nice one guys. See you soon.